Hello everyone, my name is Paul Lloyd and this presentation is going to help us better understand what mortgage financing is. Okay, so what is mortgage financing? Um, the definition of a mortgage is a loan to finance the purchase of a home, apartment, condo, or many other types of real estate. Uh, usually, it's the largest debt that consumers will ever have. Um, the more common lengths of a mortgage is 15 or 30 years. Um, there are some that do a 20 year, but it is certainly not as common. Uh, most consumers do not have enough cash to purchase a home, so they make monthly payments to pay off the mortgage. That's what mortgage financing is. Um, mortgage financing is made up of many different parts and we will discuss these parts in the following slides. All right, a large, um, or something important to understand about a mortgage is that um, you'll need collateral. Uh, collateral is the act of providing the lender something that's theirs in case that the borrower is unable to make further payments towards the money that was borrowed. Um, when financing a home, the home itself is the collateral. Um, whoever you borrow the money from has the right to claim the home as theirs if payments are not being made on the home. That's called foreclosure. Uh, consumers that have their home foreclosed lose their homes and will likely damage their credit rating, which will affect their ability to finance anything in the future, especially a home. Um, oftentimes, if, if homeowners get in trouble or, with money or fear that they can't make payments on their home, they can restructure their mortgage and, and make it so that they pay a, a smaller amount each month. Um, principal, what is it and how can one lower it? Principal is simply the amount of money that is borrowed. If I take out a mortgage loan for $200,000, the principal loan, the principal of that loan is the $200,000. Um, though that is the principal, that is not going to be the total amount of money that is paid in the end. Um, there are costs associated with borrowing money. These costs are called interest in this case. Um, all right, interest and why consumers need to pay attention to it. As we learned earlier, interest is the cost associated with borrowing money. Um, and it's usually expressed as a percentage, which is called the interest rate or mortgage rate. Um, when accepting a mortgage loan, you accept an, a, usually a fixed interest rate and you accept a payment amount that is to be paid each month. Um, at the beginning, when you're paying off your mortgage, a very high percentage of the payment goes towards interest and doesn't lower the principal. This is called amortization. Um, it's just when you spread out what you pay um, for the home over a long period of time. Um, borrowers can make more than one payment on their mortgage each month, month, which can save a lot of money in the end because it quickens the amortization process and the principal amount owed. Um, here, here I listed current interest rates for a 30-year mortgage. The average is at about 3.75%, whereas a 15-year mortgage is at about 3%. Consumers can save thousands of dollars if they choose a 15-year mortgage. I've included at the end in the appendix a visual graph to better um, show how this works. Here we learn about taxes and insurance and why consumers need to pay for these. Um, besides paying off the mortgage principal and interest, borrowers must also pay taxes on their home. Currently, it's about 1.29% of the home each month. Um, these taxes are used to maintain the community in which the home resides. Home insurance is required to purchase a home. You won't get approval for a mortgage if you don't have home insurance. Um, this insurance protects the homeowner in case of natural disasters that damage the home, theft, and other property damage. Home insurance is currently about $35 a month for every $100,000 of the home value. Here I've included some general tips for potential home purchasers or buyers. 